I bet the people that wanted these two Virginia schools to be uh, renamed after Confederate people are the same type of people that will scream at anybody for having any other flag but the American flag while they also fly the Confederate flag the flag of traitors and losers. To, I mean, imagine actually wanting your school or a school to be named after some racist Confederate traitor who fought against the United States to keep slavery. It just shows that you are also a traitor, a loser, and a racist who wants slaves. Confederate names will be reinstated at two schools in the U.S. state of Virginia after a school board in Shenandoah County voted early Friday 5-1 in favor of the move. No. The motion undid the school board's decision in 2020 to strip a high school and elementary school of the names of three Civil War military leaders from pro-slavery southern states, Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, and Turner Ashby. The community will be the first... Well, yeah... It's just a bunch of people that worship slave-owning confederates and wish that the United States would make slavery le legal again so that they can re-enslave black people. That's all they want. First in the nation to reinstate such names, it bucks a four-year trend of U.S. institutions removing symbols of the confederacy following nationwide racial justice protests triggered by George Floyd's murder by police officers in 2020. A local what I find funny, well, look at the Confederate traitors, uh, and this guy is flying a non-American flag, yet I bet he would scream at left-wingers for uh, flying the pride flag or something else. But uh, what I find funny is that right-wingers will claim that it's Democrats that want slaves, while they're the ones... Uh, protesting against Confederate statues being put up, waving the Confederate flag, worshipping slave-owning uh, Confederate leaders and stuff like that. The conservative coalition in April asked the school board for the change, saying it was, quote, essential to honor our community's heritage. It wants Mountain View High School to go back to the name Stonewall Jackson High and Honey Run Elementary to become Ashby Lee Elementary again. And, you know, a lot of these people, uh, especially the administrators, are probably pretty racist towards black people. On Thursday evening before the vote, the school board listened to arguments on both sides from parents as well as former and current students. I'm a black student, and if the names are restored, I would have to represent a man that fought for my ancestors to be slaves. Tearing down statues and monuments and erasing history at, while indoctrinating children is exactly what Adolf Hitler did in the late 1930s in Germany. This wow, a dude that worships sla uh, slavers is trying to compare removing Confederate statue traitors to Adolf Hitler. That's hilarious. This dude, that dude probably also worships Adolf Hitler. This board has a moral and ethical obligation to the citizens you represent to undo the dirtiest, most underhanded political stunt in the history of Shandor County politics. Important decisions like this one must consider the voices of the students. The students would be most affected by this change. As a current student, it is hard to imagine a scenario where reverting the name back to Stonewall Jackson would improve the education received by any student attending the school. The school the only people that want the schools to be named after Confederate slavers are Confederate races themselves, no else but uh, Confederate traitors want the schools to be named uh, after Confederates. Uh, any sane, rational American would be against it. School board's vice chairman Kyle Gutschall earlier told Reuters the name changes in 2020 had increased public attention on the board and helped shift its political composition to the right. While Gutschall's predecessor Michelle Manning voiced concern about how charged the issue had become, saying she received threatening phone calls after the vote in 2020. According yeah, probably threatening phone calls from right-wingers who hate the idea of a school not being named after a confederate loser. 
because they also are also Confederate losers. Into a 2022 Reuters investigation, school board members across the United States have faced a rash of threats and hostile messages ignited by roiling controversies over...